Okay. Well, here's another uh, <clears throat> little thing with Cecil here and Theodore and the whole gang getting at it again. It's interesting because you do so much and it all fits into this small amount of time that they're doing this little talking with Cecil here and battling him and all of that. I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. It's like they've been in that room for like two hours talking to Cecil. What do I know? I don't know. I don't know why everyone's got to be sleeping, you know? I mean, it's like, come join my party. Don't sit there and sleep. Went ahead and slept and had to get, had to sleep four times to get the moon phase right, so that's why I added that part out. But anyway, uh, I forgot what I was going to do here. Oh yeah, I was going to stock up on potions, because I ran out of potions. Potions are helpful. I always liked buying tons of potions in Final Fantasy games and using them over and over and over again. Something I always did, starting from the first game. Alright, here in Troy we came back because it's unfrozen. We can explore a little. Um, I read the game fact about a little pass hidden passageway here. I thought there might be something in these little ponds here on the left and right, but there aren't. It's not really a pond, it's just the end of the moat. There's nothing there, but there is stuff on the other sides, on the outside of the castle, if I keep following the moats. And that's what I uh, went ahead and did here. And the frogs just kept getting my way, so I was really frustrated with that. And then they say ribbit, that doesn't help either. That just makes it even more frustrating. They get in your way and then they say ribbit. Move. Right, there was a small tail, T-A-L-E tail, I believe. And the other one on the other side is an actual small tail. It's like they put those small tails, T-A-L-E, in just to make you think you got a small tail when you didn't. Which is kind of stupid. And I think they heal. I think they do like, kind of. they're kind of like a potion. Haven't used one yet, but that's what I read, um, what they do. Alright, from here I believe we headed on to, uh, Mesidia. I went ahead and edited out the short trip there. Try to save on some time in my video footage. And now we're gonna face Ramu. And Ramu, um, you actually have to do a lot of damage to him to get him to join you. Um, more so than Shiva, and... He was probably the more difficult, the most difficult Eidolon boss so far. But, um, that doesn't mean he's difficult, per se, it's just, so far, he's, he had, he had the most HP you had to take off, you know, I don't know why I'm just sitting here, I don't know why I left, oh, I went to save, I probably was sitting there to read on how to beat Ramu, <laughs> and then I talked to everyone here, is Palin back yet? I don't know. I don't think human beings make that sound. But then what do I know? We don't know what we're saying when we're sleeping, right? We make weird... Don't we talk in our sleep? We could say... When we're sleeping. Who knows? So, you just beat up Ramu. I went ahead and taunted him a little to try to get him to attack Golbez there, but that uh, Thunder Spell just attacks everyone anyway, so I figured I'd just attack, I guess. And I went, went ahead and attacked with Self to heal myself up as I was doing damage to Ramu, which is helpful. Self is a nice little summon there. It's, it's very helpful. I mean, not only it heals, it does damage, so it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, Edge is doing some pretty good damage here. And, uh, let's see, Luca. Yeah, Luca's always been doing good damage. Oh man, I like the Sylphs. They're pretty cool. 
Same old hitting him, and he's taking forever to, for his HP to get off. It's a long battle. Not difficult, just long. Now, if I was to, let's say, not have, have done the challenge dungeons and not have imported data, then this guy probably would be really tough. But I did do the challenge dungeons, and I did get better items than I did level up. So I have a pretty good start in this chapter, the Crystals chapter. Alright, now now we start to talk now, then I had to defend and do nothing and then I get wrong. Awesome. Alright, then we go inside and you know, after I heal up here. Yeah, I stopped using potions because I figured I could just go sleep. No point in using potions. There's not going to be any more battles. And then Porum just faints on the ground. Like, you know, everyone's been fainting as of late. Palum, then Porum. That's why everyone's sleeping, because everyone's fainting. Might as well just go to bed and relax and rest. And it would kind of suck if they were in a fight and they just fainted right in the middle of the fight, so I guess it's okay for them to all, to all sleep. Although it's still kind of stupid. I'm just trying to make it, trying to make excuses for it, but it's still pretty stupid. And of course the water crystal has been taken. Duh. It's been taken. Cain has fled to Baron with it. Cain did what? He said he was going to kill Cecil. You're joking! Ah, uh, well, it is true. Everyone's going mad. It's all because of that moon. You know, that's interesting, though, because in, uh, American folklore, um, the moon was believed to cause madness. The full moon, anyway. And it's interesting that there's that same kind of connection with the moon causing, like, certain creatures to go mad, and and maybe even, well, we know that's not because that's not what happened to Cecil. It's not just because the moon did something. It's because of something else. But still, the moon is the the central cause of everything, I believe. I mean, if there wasn't a moon, then this wouldn't have happened. Let's just say, let's just put it that way. I mean, of course it's not the moon that's actually doing all of this, it's, it's uh, something else, the mysterious girl, and in the first game it was uh, Zeromus. Generally speaking, it's the moon, because everything that's causing all of this comes from the moon. So there, that's what I'm trying to say. <sighs> as confusing as that may have been. I wonder, should I get the Final Fantasy IV Complete Collection? Because I'm not sure. I mean, I am I am enjoying the ending of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. I really am. I, I complain through, like, the mid part of it. When I was doing the, the, ch the side chapters, side tales, whatever you want to call them. I was complaining with all the same old sprites being used and everything. But toward the end here in the crystals, I'm actually liking this. It's interesting. I like the idea of uh, having optional boss battles to get a, an item. I like the challenge dungeon thing where you can um, go ahead and beat them as much as you want to, to have a chance to get some nice items. That's pretty cool. It gives it a very, very addictive quality. But the actual stories in the tales themselves were subpar. I, I didn't, you know, that was, it was lacking. But, um, overall, I am enjoying the game. 
and um, the crystals made up for a lot of a lot of complaints I had. Uh, so we move on to damp scene here, and we find that the place is covered in ant lines. And it's strange because you don't do anything here except get Harley and find some items, some items that you don't really need. Yeah, you see, it must be the moon. The moon's the cause of everything. And I said it's in American folklore that the moon caused you to go mad. I, I don't think that's true. I think that, that's not American. I think that's uh, someplace else. So I cracked myself there. I don't think we've really been around long enough to really have much of a folklore in America. But anyway. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get in this treasure chest place, treasure room, whatever you want to call it. And I figured it out. And I find out that, that, that there's junk, except for that X potion. That's worth it. Hey, this ally got in my way, and I was getting mad, and I probably told it to move. Some more junk, except for the X potions again. Oh, and the uh, what did I find? Diamond shield is what I found. I think so. Yeah, that's not junk, but I couldn't find anyone to use it either, <laughs> so I just left. All right, so. I go over to the left to see if there's anything over there, but there's nothing over there. And I figure if I keep walking that way, I'll probably leave the castle by accident. And I, I didn't want to do that, so... Okay. And then I... What did I do? I went to the throne room. To go see Harley. So Harley comes along. Good old Harley. As faithful as ever. The old woman. And I go check on the left and the right to see if there's anything in those pots. And of course there aren't. And then I believe I went on the... to the stairs on the left and right to go search those rooms. Come on. I was probably checking, I'm just probably reading the fact right now to see where exactly, how do I get over there. And it's pretty obvious, you just go over here. And those airlines get in the way. I probably should have tried talking to one to see if you get in a battle with one, but I didn't. <laughs> Excuse me. I found a small tail. And 
that ant line didn't want to go to the right, so I had to sit here and wait for him to move. And that, that, that's frustrating. I thought maybe if I get go back on the stairs and then try moving south here, that I'd find a, tra a, a secret passageway, and I did. So I always try to make sure I can find those secret passageways because you never know what, what might be in those treasure chests. You know, there could be something really nice, but of course it wasn't. It was junk. But you don't know until you check, right? But anyway. Um, I don't know why I kept pausing here. Probably looking to see if there's anything left to do in damn scene, which there wasn't, so I just left. And it's weird, you come here to get Harley on the ship, and that's pretty much it. There's no Eidolon to save or anything. So I found that really strange. And you, you don't fix the airline problem either, you know? You think that you come here to fix that, at least, but you don't. Um, that video is going to end here. I'll, I'll, I'll see you in a, on the next video.